This delicious chicken casserole recipe was submitted by All Recipes member Donna, who describes it as a crowd-pleasing casserole topped with a buttery cracker crust. Let's get started by cooking the chicken breast for the casserole. Place four skinless bone-in chicken breast halves in a large stock pot. You can use boneless breasts here to make things easier, but the bones will help add a lot of flavor and richness to the broth. Chop two stalks of celery into thirds and add it to the pot. Season it with half a teaspoon of salt and an eighth of a teaspoon of pepper. Add just enough water to cover the chicken and bring it to a boil. Cover the pot and reduce the heat to medium low. You'll want the chicken to cook for about 35 minutes. Take the chicken out of the pot and place it on a plate to let it cool. Reserve a cup of the broth to use later. Of course, you can refrigerate or freeze the rest for other recipes. Remove the meat from the bones and cut it into bite-sized pieces. Set the chicken aside and preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Next, we'll get the sauce together for the casserole. In a large bowl, add six ounces of sour cream, two 10 and a half ounce cans of condensed cream of chicken soup, the cup of broth you set aside from the cooked chicken, a quarter teaspoon of celery salt, an eighth of a teaspoon of onion powder, a quarter of a teaspoon of garlic powder, salt to taste, and pepper to taste. Stir the sauce together until it's smooth. Add the chicken and one cup of cooked rice. Stir it all together until it's evenly coated. If you don't have any leftover rice on hand, a good time saver is to use frozen rice prepared according to directions. Spoon the mixture into a nine by 13 casserole dish and set it aside while you make the topping. In a small saucepan, melt half a cup of butter or margarine. Place two sleeves of buttery round crackers into a resealable bag. We're going to make about two cups of crumbs. A rolling pin is a great tool to use for this. You want some small chunks still in there, not too fine. Pour the butter into the bag Shake it all together. Sprinkle the cracker mixture evenly on top of the casserole. Bake it in the oven for 30 to 35 minutes. It should be a nice bubbling golden brown when it comes out. Casseroles invite creativity. One All Recipes member named Irene suggests adding a bag of defrosted broccoli florets and shredded cheddar cheese to the casserole mixture before baking. She vouches, everyone I've ever served it to has loved it. <laughs>